Welcome to the epic, the sardonic, the titillating, best fit square! Hey folks, welcome back to the Best Fit Square Show. I'm your host, Manuel Ortega. In this episode, we explore how fear can produce constructive responses. Or not. <laughs> to help us better understand is our very own in-house scholar, P.T. Hey, P.T. Hey, Mo. Do you remember when we were kids having air raid drills during our school day? Yes, indeed. We formed two lines. One, the girls. The other, the boys. We lined up in size place. Being the shortest kid in class, I hated it. Felt like I was being singled out. Hey, pipsqueak, get in front. Then one day, a new boy arrives, and suddenly, I was second in line and loved it. I remember this well. Our desks were screwed to the floor. Yep, with a flip top, we lifted to place our books, pencils, erasers, and binders inside. Oh, but we digress, Mo. So, back in school, fire bells are wailing, outside sirens are blasting, we braced ourselves for the air raid drill. Conducive milieu for learning, <laughs> no? Sharpened our concentration, I'll bet. So, now that your class was lined up, what happened next? We headed for the nearest stairwell. Down we'd go to the school's basement. Once there, with shoulders to the wall, we walked the basement's perimeter. Once we were all in, we crouched down and bowed our heads. With sirens blasting and bells clanging, you betcha. When the noise stopped, our teacher had us stand. We'd about face and walk up to our classroom. It's the only time I like being first online. Why? Because on the way back, I was last. Watch the fear back then. Thermonuclear war being tops. This was the Cold War era. Communism versus democracy. Socialism versus capitalism. Nation pitted against nation. Annihilation, one misunderstanding away. Thrilling times. Indeed, Mo. Nothing like what we face today. Got that right. Religious zealots, science rejectors, widespread corruption, unrestrained business, dysfunctional government. Damn, feeling nostalgic for the good old days when our enemies were outside our borders. Ah, the good old days when fear drove constructive innovation like our interstate highways, our space programs, air conditioning, technologies that enrich lives for tens of millions of homo sapiens. Fun fact, PT. Remember those 19 guys? You know, the ones who wreaked havoc with four planes? Their action produced remarkable innovations. You have a point, Mo. If it weren't for these 19 fellas and their support team of about 100, we probably wouldn't have invested trillions of dollars in two wars or had the opportunity to implement rendition and torture, not to mention create our cutting-edge surveillance apparatus. Can you imagine our government increasing its budget deficit to invest trillions in its peoples for programs like nutrition, health care, and education, or upgrading its deteriorated transportation infrastructure, like roads, rails, and air hubs, or safeguard its citizens from a predator business sector. Can you imagine our government suspend values and held up to the world for generations? Could we have conjured that in the 21st century, our private communications, our lives, would be an open book for inspection by our government? And let's not forget violation of international law. Nothing barks louder. No one is the boss of me like violating international law. Floodgates were open to a renaissance of investment in science, technology, and medicine. A triumph for fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Damn right, PT. We were going to be liberators, welcomed with open arms by a willing and able coalition to implement democracy. Uh, going to be the operative words. Well, you know what they say. The best laid plans of mice and men <laughs> often go astray. Just saying.